Hey guys, this video is going to teach you how to make confetti slash body aura for Roblox. It's fairly simple and doesn't take much time at all. We're going to go through the modeling, the unwrapping, the texturing, and the uploading and publishing to Roblox processes. If you guys need any extra help at all during this tutorial, just join the Discord in the description and at me or you can DM me on Discord personally. Now let's get into the video. So when you first open Blender, this is the screen you're going to see. We want to get rid of the camera, the cube, and this light over here. So just press A on your keyboard, right click, delete. Now we want to go to the front view mode. That will be top right, negative Y view. So usually for confetti or body aura, they have about three icons. I'll show you what I mean right now. So I'm just going to do shift A image reference and find the picture that i saved so i found these three icons on google and this is what's gonna be made up of my confetti so like you could do a heart a star and a cloud or a heart a star a candy cane whatever you want so when you have your picture in here you want to start making the actual icons so press add mesh plane and you'll see we added a plane and how I'm moving around is just I'm holding down my middle button and moving my mouse around. So I'm going to go back into negative Y view. To flip it up, I just do R, X, and then 90 on my keyboard. R is for rotate and I want to rotate it on the X axis. So I pressed X and then I did 90 to flip it. Now I'm going to move my plane over the first object I want to cut out. Now we want to go to see through mode, which would be up here and just click that. And now you could see through it. Make sure you have your plane selected and then go to edit mode. Left click anywhere. It doesn't matter. And then we want to start cutting this out to do that. We need to use the knife tool. So press K on your keyboard, left click, left click, left click. I think you get the point, but basically just start cutting it out. If you mess up and you want to go back, just do Control Z on your keyboard. Now, when you get to the last dot and you're about to connect it, left click onto it and then you'll see this, but to get rid of that line, just right click. Now to actually save your cut into the plane, press enter on your keyboard and it'll look like this. Now we want to delete these four vertices. One, two, three, four. So left click, hold your left click and drag over these two, press right click and then delete vertices. Now go down here and do the same thing. Now when you go back to solid mode up here, you'll see that you cut out the plane to your shape. Now you're going to want to do that with all of your shapes. So again, add mesh plane Type on your keyboard R and then X and then 90 to flip it. Press G on your keyboard to move it in front of your icon. Press this button up here. Make sure your plane is selected and then go to edit mode. Press K on your keyboard and start cutting it. Delete the vertices and you're done with your second one now I'll do your last one now all three of them should be cut out and you can delete your picture up here just right click on it and click delete now you're gonna want to add a roblox mannequin into your blender file those can be found in my discord server so once you have it downloaded just click file import obj and find the mannequin file and import it in and it should look like this also to move around you can just go over here move your screen it's what i do it's a habit honestly okay now we want to make these three icons thicker because it's looking thin so what i do is i just left click hold shift left click left click Go into edit mode by pressing tab on your keyboard. Go into minus X view. Press A to select everything here. 
E and move it out. I wouldn't make it too thick, just around there. Now we're going to want to start the unwrapping process for each one of these so it makes it easier before we start duplicating all of them. So follow what I do. Click on one, or you can actually click on all three and go to edit mode. Left click. Now we're going to add a edge loop in the middle of these. So basically just one whole line cut between this whole thing and for each one of these. So do control R and move your mouse so it looks like this. Left click, left click. UV, mark seam. Now do that for the rest of them. Control R, left click, left click. UV, mark seam. And do the same thing. Now you can go to UV editing up here and then press A on your keyboard, UV and unwrap. There we go. Now you can select these by pressing, hovering over it and pressing L on your keyboard to move it around wherever you'd like. Just to make it more organized, just make sure it all fits into this. And press S to scale it down if you need to. I'm just left click and dragging over them and then pressing S to make them bigger or smaller. Now that you have this part done, let's save our file anywhere on your computer because it's always good to make it a habit to save once you're at a stopping point. So I'm just going to save this real quick because sometimes your blender can crash and you won't be able to get this file back. So it's good practice. Now we can start duplicating all of these. So you can do it whichever way you like, but this is how I'm going to do it. Just rotate it, bring it down. Make it smaller. We're going to actually add a mirror modifier so it mirrors everything on the left to the right. So go over here, click on the fish, um, press the modifier, add modifier, and then mirror. Press this eyedropper and click the mannequin. Now it'll copy over there. Left click on it and then duplicate it again. Do what you need. I'm just going to flip it and move it back a little so it's further away from it. I'm going to move this one over here um, to look around. I'm just holding down my middle mouse button and I'm just using these arrows over here to move it where I'd like. Um, let's see. I can add another one over here. Oh, maybe not there. Yep, like that. Move this back in the middle just to even it out. So it'll look like this. Um, now I'm just going to grab my leaf. Do the same thing. Just going to duplicate it first and then... Oops, forgot to add the mirror modifier. You can slow that down if you like. I know I went a little too fast on that. But that's what the key binds are on the screen are for, you know. Um, just move that behind there. And I, I want one up here. Yep, there we go. Now for the cat, I'll kind of just add it and then add the mirror modifier there. Um, there. You can add it kind of in the middle of her so it looks better, I guess. You can also do this, apply the modifier for this one, and then just, oh, sorry about my dog. Move it up, and then move this one down, move it. To go into wireframe mode, hold Z, and then wireframe. 
it'll select this whole entire thing. And so that evens it out a little. I think I'm pretty satisfied with this for now. So now we're going to go to texturing. Texturing on Blender is fairly simple. I'm just going to hide this girl for now. I'm going to go to texture paint. Negative Y view. And I'm going to click this arrow up here and click flat mode. And you'll see why in a second. So first you're going to click new. Just make this white. It doesn't matter. Go to image, save as, and go to the file where you saved your blend file. And just name it texture. Save as image. And then we're going to make this a stopping point. So file, save as, and then save your blend file again. So when you click on all of these, I'm going to just left click and hover over all of these. You go to edit mode, press A, you'll see that your UV is here. Because you duplicated them, the UV is going to be in the same place. That is why it is so important to do your UV first before you duplicate it. Because otherwise they would be here, 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 they'd be everywhere. But now they're all on top of each other. So let's say I wanted to do the fish first. Edit mode, I'm going to left click and then I'm just going to press L. Make sure the whole thing's selected. Now click, left click this, texture paint and click this. See how it's purple? Head over here. New. This yellow dot next to base color. Image texture. Open. And then find that file where you saved your texture. It's white. But whatever color you want the fish to be or your icon to be, we're going to fill it in. So go to the paint bucket, fill. Click this white and then change it to whatever color you'd like. So I'm going to change it to a light blue, left click, and the whole thing will be blue. And you're going to want to head over here, press image, save as, and left click twice the texture you saved it as over the one, the first one that we saved. So just keep saving these images every time you paint on it. Now we're going to go back to edit mode, left click so everything is deselected move over I'm gonna do the leaf now press L on it to select the whole thing texture paint make sure this is selected I'm gonna do a light green now oops forgot to basically just do this and then add the texture make sure you do that and it should be the updated texture like with the blue fish or whatever you change the color to to the icon whatever and then you can left click and fill image save as and then the texture you saved before go back click on the cat or whatever your third icon is texture paint new yellow dot image that image you saved and I think I'm going to make this orange. Actually, I'm going to do a light pink. Make sure it's on the paint bucket. And then left click. And boom. Image, save as, save it over the texture. Every single one of these that has a blue wrench, you need to get rid of the blue wrench. To do that, left click on one of them. Go over here. Drop down arrow, apply. Now do that for each one of them. Now you can click on one, drag over it, and join them all. And now the colors will be there. So after you're done modeling, make sure to export your file. Before we do that, we want to check the triangles. 3.5, which is very, very good. You always want your model to be under 4K or it will not upload to Roblox. Left click on it, file, export. OBJ and name it whatever you want and save it to whatever file and make sure you click selection only There are two plugins and models that I use to upload and publish my UGCs the first one would be accessory proximity prompt model 3.0 by Kyra 3d I think I pronounced that right the second one is UGC makers kit 2 
they do cost money. I'm not sure if they're free now, but I will link both of them in the description. Once you have this imported, go to Avatar, Import 3D, find the OBJ file that you saved. Let me switch my capture so you could see this. It should look like this. Import, uploading, and then close, and you'll see it right here. I'm gonna do the girl for this one, so left click over this, drop down, and 3.0 model, copy, and then paste it, and move it over here. I'm gonna bring my model over here too. Left click over this, drop down menu, get rid of the placeholder accessory, right click, delete. I'm gonna click on my avatar, and I'm gonna find her origin position. Left click on those coordinates and copy it. Click on my model, left click, paste that origin position in, press enter, and it'll be centered with the mannequin. Move it down, since it's body aura, it'll be around her body, like so. Now left click on the aura, go to your plugin, accessory plus, drop down, click this default thing, and it'll show here, confirm selection. Click your model, and usually auras are, I think, I think they're body back. It'll show green if it's within the bounds. If it's not within the bounds, it'll show red, and you'll have to move it around and adjust it. Confirm selection, classic, special mesh, and it'll show up up there. You'll see this blue witch hat. Drag it into the 3.0 model and rename it. To anything you'd want right click rename confetti double click this change it to the exact way you spelled it over here go back to your place join the game so you can test it and you can wear it once you've tested it, you can press the red um, square stop button over here. And you just want to right click on the witch hat. Go to save to Roblox. And you see how this thumbnail is kind of crooked? Press the X. Discard. We're going to go to thumbnail over here. You can use your scroll wheel to zoom in. Usually if you do 90 degrees, it'll flip it towards the sun over there so it'll make it brighter on roblox in the marketplace go back to save the roblox and that thumbnail will save it's usually zoomed out which is normal name it to whatever you want add your description avatar item same one you used when you made an accessory which is a back accessory click your group or you can click me, which is just your user, and it'll upload to your profile instead of a group. And then you would submit it for 750 Robux. Now to actually publish it, I think it's around 1,500 Robux to publish a back accessory. It's different and it varies between each accessory. I can put that link to the prices in the description. But to publish it, you would go to Roblox and then create and then go to either your user or your group where you uploaded it to. I think it's accessories and then you find which one, like back accessory, click on it, scroll down, publish. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you got confused at any part, please join my Discord, at me, ask me the question, and I'll get to you when I can. Please leave tutorial suggestions down in the comments. I know I haven't posted a tutorial in a long time, but I'm trying to get more active on YouTube, so commenting some suggestions for me would really help. Thank you so much!